Hi guys. Um, okay, this week's video follows on from the one I did a couple of weeks ago, and I suppose I just got to it thinking about my looking back at my life really and things that uh, things that happened in my childhood growing up. So the title of this video is "Am I trans enough to transition?" And what I mean by that is the question that I think pretty much all trans people must ask themselves um, when I think it's a natural thing to do when you feel that you are transgender and you feel like you want to transition and you look at other people who have transitioned successfully and you kind of feel like you have to measure yourself by their level of femininity of how you would measure up to them as a woman and I guess really you know where you see yourself on that whole kind of scale of you know am I like ultra feminine am I kind of somewhere in the middle you know that whole kind of questioning who you are as a woman who you feel as a woman inside when in actual fact you're living as a man and you've never really experienced the feminine side of your personality and I think this whole kind of process of questioning and asking yourself am I trans enough am I you know okay I feel this way but you know really Am I maybe just someone who feels a bit like they have a feminine side and I like to dress up in women's clothing and experience that but do I actually want to be a woman you know do I want to live as a woman full time do I want to experience that every day do I want to go to that point and know that I can't come back um, and this whole kind of process of, of for me at least of kind of questioning yourself and saying am I am I actually am I actually really transsexual or am I just somebody who is happy to acknowledge that they feel this way but I shouldn't ever do anything about it um, like for me obviously as I said in my last video I used to be like massively into the army I was really set on trying to get in the Royal Marine Commandos and you know um be some kind of special forces kind of badass um you know and that's really genuinely what i wanted um i've always been a, like a complete petrol head i love cars motorsport um you know also just socially you know with my guy friends i was such a kind of typical okay I've never liked football but um you know I was such a typical kind of guy you know I would always be probably the most drunk person and um like you know kind of scrapping with my friends in like a you know like a friendly way and all this sort of stuff and and that was me you know that's who I was um that's who I was in one kind of dimension that's who I was very happy being okay underneath I you know I wanted all these other things I you know wanted to experience my female side I wanted to I wasn't happy with the way my body looked and the way I presented and the way the world saw me and I knew I had all these feelings inside and though you know they were just bottled up and you know at times they would kind of come to the surface and then you know my sexuality but that's something else for another video um and the reality was that looking back now I know that none of this actually mattered you know the fact that I fitted into a kind of stereotypical um, sort of male um, way of being and that I kind of worried that this is you know I know this too much too well I'm so familiar with this that this is this is really who I am despite feeling that I'm not this person and that I want to be you know who I am now um, I worried that actually I'm not trans enough you know I'm just somebody who I'm a guy who 
has this feminine side who likes to fantasize about being female and you know dress up as a woman whatever do these things to kind of experience what it might feel like to be a woman but am I really trans enough to to go forwards and pursue this and commit socially and say to everyone I'm transsexual guys I'm transitioning it's happening you know this is who I am now because once you've done that you've really kind of committed and and I just for years and years and years I just worried that I wasn't trans enough you know I'm not I'm not far enough on the scale um and I suppose the re- the reality is now that for all those years when I thought there was this kind of gold standard that you had to measure up to that um you know when you were growing up you liked to play with dolls you know if someone put a doll and a tank in front of you you'd play with the doll and not the toy tank and you know that um I would grow up fancying boys and all these sorts of things that I just thought I don't tick any of those boxes so I just don't feel confident to to pursue transition because I don't think I'm going to be I don't think I just don't feel confident that it would be right for me and that all the things that I know and love are completely at odds with what I see to be things that a woman would want to do and want to enjoying her life and again it's like now I realise that actually none, none of that matters you know because I would there were like two sort of two lives running parallel and one was <clears throat> me as a guy where I was this typical kind of you know guy who did all these things but who also had this fem- effeminate side who wanted to experience that but didn't feel comfortable because I was so typically sort of stereotypically male that I couldn't be like to people well yeah but I also like to dress up as a woman occasionally and you know do this and do that because that just didn't sit right and it didn't feel right and and I couldn't be that person I'm not saying that's wrong if anyone does want to do that wherever you're on scale it doesn't matter I'm just talking now about me so there was that one kind of route and then there was the other route which is actually where I am now and when I look back and think well actually everything makes perfect sense because now I just realize yeah I am a woman and I am intrinsically female inside but I'm a bit of a tomboy and actually <clears throat> that to me is just makes perfect sense and actually now it doesn't matter that I like to race cars and talk about cars or motorsport or whatever or that you know I like to do things that are kind of a bit adventurous and a bit kind of daring like I want I really want to go and do skeleton bob at some point and you know I like doing things that kind of scare me and that are a bit dis a bit dangerous and a bit risky and I suppose that was the whole kind of the whole kind of idea of you know being in the army to me that's what appealed uh it's that kind of life on the edge um sort of way of life and and actually now it all makes perfect sense to say because it's like well I can inhabit that whole kind of space as a woman and no it never matters no one ever judges me on it um people tend to think that it's cool that I race a car when I tell them and they're really like wow this is really different and I really like that whole fact that actually a lot of what I do is a bit eccentric and a bit different and and it just makes me more of an individual um like a girl who likes quite a bit of guy stuff um and I suppose really just what I'm trying to say with this video is that to people who are saying to themselves am I trans enough well whether you are or you're not it doesn't matter because whether you're 
ultra feminine or whether you're I don't know completely at the other end of the scale um just be yourself you know because nobody's going to judge you no psychologist doctor um <clears throat> you know person you've met in the pub whoever is going to turn around and say to you well actually <clears throat> you shouldn't be transitioning or whatever because because you don't fit this kind of you know this this predetermined idea of people what people have of you know of what a transsexual should be um because none of it there is no right or wrong there's no um there's no right or wrong there's just pleasing yourself and being happy in who you are and if you turn out to be the most feminine beautiful sophisticated gorgeous woman and you're happy that's cool and if you turn out to be a woman who has short hair and doesn't like to wear that much makeup and does like i don't know random kind of guy stuff and play football who cares you know so long as you're happy um don't ever sort of think to yourself that you can't or you shouldn't transition because um you know you don't you don't meet this kind of level of of femininity um in your lifestyle choices okay so um that's really what i wanted to say in this video and um i'm going to try and keep doing videos weekly i'm really struggling a bit at the moment because i've my racing season starts really soon and i've just got so much on um like building a van um a race van which is my kind of um uh, current kind of guy thing that i'm doing at the weekends um so unfortunately that has to take priority because it's like a massive thing for me this year and i will do some videos on it soon and uh anyway just please keep sharing my videos keep your comments coming give me ideas and i hope to have another video out next week see you guys then bye